So I've tried several times now to intro this video and nothing works out right. So today we have a Topshop haul, I did a thing, I bought some stuff, I'm just gonna show it to you. Side note, I know this is not my regular upload day and that is because this was kind of an unplanned haul. I just had loads and loads of Topshop stuff and because of Vlogmas, I don't know when I'm going to next show it to you. I don't, I literally don't have enough like upload dates before Vlogmas to get all the content out that I want to do. So there are some things that I have worn and then there are some things I've literally just unwrapped. So I'm gonna show you the things that I have worn. Um, I bought these a couple of weeks ago. I'll link the vlog where I buy them in the info box if you want to go and watch it. And the first one is this grey funnel neck jumper. And this is so soft and it is just beautiful. It's a really bright grey. And when I say bright grey, like to me when I say that, it makes sense but it also doesn't make sense. But I mean it, I find it just really enhances your complexion rather than making you look grey. And the sleeves are like the perfect length where they're just that little bit too long but you feel really like snuggly in it and it's a nice long length and it's got like a split side which I really like as well. So this is the big slouchy grey jumper which I love. This is my favourite thing to wear with like leggings and just being really cosy at home. It's just like a really nice warm jumper and it's so incredibly soft. I love it and it also sits really nicely as well. I've had a couple of other jumpers from Topshop that kind of cling here and you can just see like two lumps whenever you wear it but this one doesn't have that. It just falls really nicely. It does have like it's got obviously a lot of excess material but I just really love it and I feel like it will look so nice with like knee high boots and jeans or you know just knee high boots and maybe like some shorts underneath if you are in like a warmer climate and you don't really need to worry about wrapping up warm. Um, but yeah I love it, I like the side split, I like the longer back, it's just a very nice cosy knit. I would highly recommend picking this up if you're on the lookout for a new like high neck grey jumper, it's just like the perfect grey it's such a bright grey I love it and I love the fact that the sleeves are just like perfect length for being cozy as well next before I forget there are some kind of chokers that I'm wearing um this one is actually from ASOS but there's also a Topshop rose gold choker that I'm wearing at the moment which kind of has this like dangly bit um and you have like the little loop and the um kind of bar that you can kind of like thread them through but it's a really cute choker it's on three chains um and they're all like connected um, at the top and then it goes into like two kind of strands and I just think it's so cute and I really like wearing it with this choker as well so I thought I'd mention that before I totally forgot. But the next thing is this jumper which I am obsessed with. I love the colour of it. I love the fact that it has loads of different like knitted colours and it has nice kind of thick sleeves at the end. It has a nice high neck as well uh, which I really like wearing at the moment with this kind of lace choker. It makes it look like you have like a lace top poking out. It's just perfect length as well. I really love this jumper. So this is like the lilac-y multicoloured kind of jumper. I love this. I love like the slouchy fit. I do feel like it hits me at the wrong point but it's just so cosy and slouchy and I still really like the way it looks that I kind of overlook the fact that it kind of bunches a bit there. But yeah aside from that I absolutely love this. It's so soft. It's not itchy at all. I love like the multi kind of colours in it. It's got like lots of little duo colours um, and it's just different enough to my Whistles high neck jumper for me to justify keeping it. And next we have this scarf. This is just such a soft scarf. I think they're called like the soft knit scarves or something like that. Something to do with being soft because they are ridiculously soft. And I love this one. It's just like the most beautiful green and orange and camel and white colouring. It's like my perfect kind of walk through the countryside kind of knitwear. It's just beautiful. It feels so soft. So this is the green and orange and camel and grey scarf. Um, I love this scarf so much. I've been wearing it a lot recently. I really like it with just like this dark jacket. But I think they would look really nice with denim jackets, camel coats. Like it's just one of those scarves that will just kind of go with everything and I just love it. It's so perfectly wintry and it goes really well with my hair colour at the moment. By the way, look at how ridiculous she is. Oh, bless her. She um, she keeps running up and down the hallway and um, I've tried to stop her by giving her her pillow and it worked. And then we're on to the things that I haven't tried on yet. So firstly, we have some pyjamas. I bought these um, in the vlog, some of you might remember. And they're kind of like already, they look like they've already been washed like a million times. Um, but they're these kind of checked plaid pyjamas and these just scream like Christmassy evening in to me. I just think they are so so gorgeous and these are the pyjama bottoms um, 
pretty standard. I feel like they come up quite long, but that's me being five foot one talking, so don't quote me on that. Um, another thing that I bought that I'm really looking forward to trying on, I'm surprised I haven't tried it on yet, is this denim jacket. I got this in a small bit, it comes really, really oversized, and it's got like dark washes over the pockets, and I think there's a dark wash somewhere else on it. I've been looking for a new denim jacket for a while now, and I really like the slouchy, oversized fit of this. My last denim jacket was a Levi's one, and it just felt a bit too structured, and it just didn't fit right to my body because it was just like so stiff and structured and I just couldn't get it to soften up and I think this already feels a lot softer and a lot more distressed so I feel like I might get on with this one better. So this is the denim jacket. I'm not 100% sure on the tone of this um like colour denim. It's a bit like vintagey wash so it's not kind of like your normal acid wash or kind of bleached tone which is a bit lighter. This one is a lot more of that kind of greeny blue tinge which in jeans I love I'm not so sure about it in a jacket sorry my lighting is all over the place by the way there is um there's a new mirror coming that I can move around my flat now um so hopefully my hauls from um kind of December onwards or maybe from January won't be like this weird lighting they'll be able to film where there actually is light because there's no windows in my hallway but this is the only big mirror that I have but yes yeah, so I'm not entirely sure about this one but because I'm filming these cutaways on a different day spoiler I have actually got another version of this in a lighter colour so I'm going to show you that and you can kind of let me know which one you like better okay but. so this is the lighter wash denim jacket which I much prefer in real life I'm probably going to watch this and be like no, what was I thinking? Um, as always tends to happen with these videos. But yeah, I really prefer this one. I kind of like both, but I cannot keep both because that's ridiculous, so let me know. And the final thing I bought in the vlog is this dress, which this is the one thing that I'm not sure on, so let me know whether you think I should keep it or return it, because I'm not sure. I loved it at the time, but now I'm like, Ugh. It's a velvet skater style long sleeve dress and whilst I think it could look really cute I feel like this style of dress isn't right for me. I'm going to try it on and see So this is the black velvet skater style dress. I have to say not my fave. It's quite long But it's just a bit shapeless. I feel like that's the word that I want to use I also think the print just isn't right I think I look better in like daintier prints like really small intricate little prints rather than big prints I feel like there's so many girls that would be able to rock this but <laughs> I am not one of them. So next we have two pairs of jeans and these are like straight legged jeans but they have this fraying at the bottom and I really just wanted to give this a try because this is like a huge autumn trend that I've seen a lot of people kind of trying out and I just wanted to give it a go and I really like the kind of frayed blue denim look so I thought that I would give these jeans a try. I also got them in black as well because I think black could look really cute with just like a white shirt um, and you can kind of like smarten it up and I think that could look really cool, I don't know. I'm still quite undecided on this trend which is why I thought I'd buy a couple of pairs and just try them out. Um, but this is the black pair and they have more of a tasseled um, edge to them than a frayed edge so I just thought I'd give both a go. Let me know what you think of this style of jean in the comment below because I'm really interested to hear everyone's thoughts. So these are the um, kind of frayed bottom blue jeans and they remind me of something that my mum would say to me when I was a kid when we were shopping for school clothes which was your trousers look like they've had an argument with your ankles. Does anyone else's parents ever say that because mine used to say that all the time. Um, these basically look like flares that have just had an argument with my feet so I'm, I think these would look so much better if like they were in petites and they came up like a bit higher, like that. I think that would look so much better than the current situation. So I don't know, I, I don't feel like they're worth having tailored and I don't think I could really. And again, a ridiculous awkward length for me, which is such a shame because the tassel bits are so fun. So next we have some tops. I bought a couple of, you know, blousey, shirty, lacy things as is what I usually buy whenever I go into any store. So I don't know if this is gonna completely pick up on camera or not because it's so white. I think it just is merging into the background. Um, but it's basically a lace top with a frill at the neckline, a frill kind of across the chest here, and then a frill straight across the chest. And then it falls into lace at the bottom. And it's got long sleeves and the frill runs over the arms as well. I don't know how many times I just said and, but I think this is gorgeous and I can't wait to try it on. I feel like it will be a really nice layering piece, but it's also 
just really nice on its own and it's like a perfect Christmas party piece if you're not into like dressing up and you're really not into colour. It really dresses up a pair of jeans quite nicely all on its own. So this is the white lace top and I have to say I think it looks way better in real life than it does on camera. Um, it looks a bit weird on camera but I really like it in real life. It's just so cute and romantic and frilly and lacy. It's really really sweet. I've got a lace bra on underneath as well which I think just adds to the whole lacy vibe. It's not necessarily the one that I would wear normally but it's just what I had to hand. Um, but yeah I love this. I think it's really cute. I'm just not 100% because I'm like if it doesn't look good on camera is that my eyes seeing things in real life? And like then another shirt I bought is this one which my friend Olivia has. Um, her blog is amazing. She is what Olivia did on YouTube and she has this top and I think that it is absolutely gorgeous. The one thing that I'm not sure about is this detail on the back. I really, I wish that wasn't there, um, but I thought that I'd give this a try because I really like the front part of this top and I feel like in the winter I mostly wear jackets anyway so this part won't really be seen and I can wear a black top underneath anyway if I don't want my back showing. So this is the clashing print poppy dot shirt which I think is so cute. I just love printed shirts, you guys know this, but I particularly love this one. It's just I just love it. I love the contrast of the two very, very different prints. It's not something that I've ever really seen before. And I just love the high neckline. It is a little bit small. I think I got this in an 8 because it looked quite oversized on the website. But I feel like I might go like a couple of sizes up and just go super oversized with this because I think it would just look so cool being like super slouchy with loads of like excess material on me. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm not like... I'm not loving the back. I still, I'm still not super keen on that. But I do just, I just think it's such a pretty print. And the final piece from this haul is a Christmas jumper because of course I can't do an end of November Topshop haul without a Christmas jumper and the gingerbread sequin jumper obviously had to be mine. It's just so cute. I love it. I literally, I cannot wait to put this on. So this jumper brings me to a question that I want to ask you guys. When is it acceptable to wear Christmas jumpers? Like mid-November, end of November, 1st of December, like when is it acceptable? Because I kind of want to start right now. So this is my lovely soft slouchy gingerbread jumper. I love this so much. <laughs> it just makes me so happy. I'd kind of been resisting wearing Christmas jumpers up until a couple of days ago when I was editing like the main bulk of this video and I saw the jumper and I was like nope I need to edit this video wearing that jumper. Today, the day you're watching this, I feel like it's a month until Christmas Eve so I feel like now is the acceptable time to start wearing Christmas jumpers so go out and get yourself a Topshop gingerbread Christmas jumper. And if you Instagram or tweet photos, tag me and then I want to see you in your Topshop gingerbread man jumpers because this is just like, I think this is my favourite Christmas jumper of all time. The future years of Topshop and all other retailers have big shoes to fill now. So that is it for my Topshop haul. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think I should keep and return in the comments below. Obviously the things that I've worn I'm not going to return but there are some other things that I'm kind of not sure on and I'd love to know your thoughts. There are a lot of videos going up at the moment that aren't on like regular upload days like this one. My video schedule has now changed to Monday and Friday but I do have a lot of content going up before Vlogmas so make sure you follow me on Twitter because I always tweet when I post a new video or I think you can on notifications for my videos and yeah i hope you're all having the best day and thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video sorry for the long outro bye <laughs> oh and in case anyone's wondering i finished filming like an hour ago <laughs> and i've just come back and nala's still here still here